Next we have a reading comprehension passage with a set of four questions. This passage talks about death, our acceptance of death and our immortality. Let's look at the first question. It says, which of the following is a reason according to the author that help us reconcile with the idea of death? Now if you go back to the last paragraph, author says, practice as you will on his ignorance, his fears, his imagination, with bribes of paradises and threats of hells, there is only one belief that can rob death of its sting and the grave of its victory and that is the belief that we can lay down our burden, of, the burden of our wretched life, makeshift individualities forever at each lift towards the goal of evolution. Author also says earlier that with such a shriek of despair would go off from the human race as no other conceivable horror could provoke if we were to be informed that our dream of personal immortality is no longer a dream. So author is saying that we do not want to live eternally with the same personality that we have in this life and we would like to leave all our mistakes, our falls, our and all our immorality behind. Let's look at our options. Option A says we, come, we become slightly better each time that we are born again. Now author says that with each life there is a possibility that we might be bettered but it does not say that which each life is better than the previous life or each life we become a little better than previous life. No. It only says that then if we have multiple lives, if we die and there is always a possibility of being born again and accomplishing what we were not able to accomplish in this life in terms of our personality, our faults, etc. So option A is not correct. Option B says when we die, we leave all our mistakes and immorality behind. This is essentially what author has been saying in the passage that when we die, we leave all our faults and mistakes and immorality and the personality that we have right now behind and there is a chance for something better. And that is one reason why death does not look like a bad idea. So option B will be correct. Option C says we were a sorry job to begin with and it's better to be remanufactured. Author does not say that we are a sorry job to begin with but he says that we have a lot of faults and the goal of evolution is to create a person which cannot be perfect, which cannot be bettered or which is perfect in itself and that is why because all of us want to aim for that goal we accept death. So option C is also incorrect. Option D says our personality and its faults are no longer meaningful when we are born again and again. But the author does not say that our faults and personality are not meaningful. They are perhaps meaningful in the life that we are living right now. In the longer run or in at, at large, if, they, if will they remain meaningful? Author says they might remain meaningful if we have were to live with the same personality forever. Which because of death we cannot and hence we cannot really comment on whether our personality and our faults are meaningful or not. Hence option D is incorrect. Next question says, what is the author's idea of hell? Now let's go back to the passage where author says that uh, the idea of hell would be to live forever with the same personality and faults that we have in this life. Author says that if some were to, someone were to come, us, come and tell us that our, our dream of living forever has come true and we are to live with the same personality and faults that we have in this life eternally, he says a shriek of despair would go, which means that we would be very, very offended. Also, he says that the idea of hell essentially is a person who has to live forever with his fault. So he says the person who's damned, which means the person who has been confined to hell is the person who needs to live forever with the same personality. Hence, let's look at the options. Option A says to live forever, to live forever but with the same personality or live forever as a perfect being. The option does not say so this is not correct. Option B says to live forever as the same person that we are in this life. This is correct as just stated through the lines in the passage. Option C says to live forever with the same people in the same world. Author has not talked about our idea of heaven or hell when it compared to the people that we are living with. So option C cannot be commented on. Option D says to live an immoral life. Author says that all of us are immoral. We have faults and we have personality defects but the chance of correcting them in another life is what makes the idea of death reconcilable. So option D is not again correct. Correct answer for this question will be option B. Let's look at the next question. What according to the author is the goal of evolution? Author says that the goal of evolution is to create a perfect being which cannot be bettered or improved. So none of the given options are really correct. Option A says to create an individual that is moral cannot be corrupted. So author talks about a moral character which cannot be corrected and cannot be improved also. So option A is not correct. Option B says to create an individual that can lead a perfect life. Author has talked of a perfect being, not of a perfect life. So option B is also incorrect. Option C says to create an individual that lives forever. In fact, author's idea of living forever is with the same personality is also the idea of hell. So option 
So uh, author does not say that that is the goal of evolution and hence option C is also incorrect. Correct answer to this question will become option D. The next question says the tone of the author is, now author here intends to talk about what he thinks, he is preaching, he is talking about what is life and death and what is the idea of death and how we get reconciled with it etc. So his tone is essentially didactic. Didactic means intending to preach or teach, especially about a moral or philosophical session. So author is not cynical, option A which is cynical is incorrect because although author has criticized us, he has criticized our personalities, our way of living, but he is no, he's not doubting everything in the world. He's not saying that everything is doomed. In fact, he's saying that with death comes the hope that we can be better. So author is not cynical, but definitely didactic. Option C is pedantic. Pedantic is somebody who's very finicky about particulars and about details. Author has not exhibited that tendency and hence we cannot say, take C as the answer. Option D, which is righteous, is also wrong as author has not shown any kind of anger or any kind of righteous streak towards things that are happening to him. So option D is also incorrect. 